Left neglect is a neurological condition, and usually as a result of damage to the right side of your brain, often following a stroke or a hemorrhage or a traumatic brain injury, in which your brain no longer pays attention to anything on the left side of anything, including the left side of you. So the person who has this isn't blind. Their eyes see the part of the brain responsible for vision works, but your brain no longer pays attention. You're no longer aware of anything on the left. Like Still Alice, I brought my neuroscience background to this story, and I did a lot of research up front. So I spent about three to four months before I started writing anything just talking to people who have left neglect, people who treat this. I'm talking about a pathological inattention. And I wanted that to be sort of a metaphor for all the ways in our lives right now as a culture that we're not really paying attention to our own selves, our relationships. We're all you know, doing five things at once instead of one thing at once. We're multitasking from the moment we wake up to the moment our head hits the pillow. We're trying to be more, do more, have more in a 24-hour period. And sort of the biggest way that people are doing this that's actually, I think, like the epidemic of this century because we're on our cell phones in the car. We're texting, we're calling, and it, it's causing a lot of fatalities. It's a huge problem. And it's, this is a huge example of where we're not paying attention to what we're supposed to be paying attention to, which is the road, and we're distracted. We're doing something else, and we think of this as normal. So I thought, here's the perfect way for Sarah to cause the, the condition that's going to cause her to stop and change her life. There's a lot I hope readers take home from this. Um, I hope readers learn a little bit about traumatic brain injury and left side neglect. Um, that's the, you know, the nerdy neuroscientist in me hopes that they learn a little something. Um, but I really hope that readers also take the opportunity to rethink their own lives, their you know, busy, crazy, multitasked lives, and maybe slow down a little, maybe choose to do one thing at a time instead of five things at a time. Maybe learn to ignore your cell phone while you're in the car and drive instead of trying to use that time to do as many things as possible. And I hope readers walk away feeling that sort of dizzy, oh my god, i got to talk to someone about this buzz you get after you've read a really good story. Mm -hmm.